Welcome back, second grade. Well, we are alive. We made it out of the kitchen. We are back in the safety of our grandmama. We are still at dinner. We've gotten our stuff into the pea soup, but now we've got the issue of Mr. Jenkins is coming over to pay us a visit. I think he's gonna cause a scene, a restaurant scene. The worst scenes there are. Follow along, see how this turns out. Mr. Jenkins and his son. Mr. Jenkins came striding up to our table with a very purposeful look on his face. Where's that grandson of yours? He said to my grandmother. He spoke rudely and looked very angry. My grandmother put on her frostiest look, but didn't answer him. My guess is that he and my son Bruno are up to some devilment, Mr. Jenkins went on. Bruno hasn't turned up for his supper, and it takes a lot to make that boy miss his food. I must admit, he has a very healthy appetite, my grandmother said. My feeling is that you're in on this as well, Mr. Jenkins said. I don't know who the devil you are, and I don't much care, but you played a nasty trick on me and my wife this afternoon. You put a dirty little mouse on the table. That makes me think all three of you are up to something, so if you know where Bruno's hiding, kindly tell me at once. That was no trick I played on you, my grandmother said. That mouse I tried to give you was your own little boy, Bruno. I was being kind to you. I was trying to restore him to the bosom of his family. You refused to take him in. What the blazes do you mean, madam? shouted Mr. Jenkins. My son isn't a mouse. His black mustache was jumping up and down like, like crazy as he spoke. Come on, woman. Where is he? Out with it. The family at the table nearest to us had all stopped eating and were staring at Mr. Jenkins. My grandmother sat there puffing away calmly at her black cigar. I can well understand your anger, Mr. Jenkins, she said, and any other English father would be just as cross as you are, but over in Norway, where I come from, we are quite used to these sort of happenings. We have learned to accept them as part of everyday life. You must be mad, woman, cried Mr. Jenkins. Where is Bruno? If you don't tell me at once, I shall summon the police. Bruno is a mouse, my grandmother said, calm as ever. He most certainly is not a mouse, shouted Mr. Jenkins. Oh, yes, I am, Bruno said, poking his head up out of the handbag. Mr. Jenkins leapt about three feet into the air. Hello, Dad, Bruno said. He had a silly sort of mousy grin on his face. Mr. Jenkins' mouth dropped open so wide I could see the gold fillings in his back teeth. Don't worry, Dad, Bruno went on. It's not as bad as all that, just so long as the cat doesn't get me. B -b 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 Bruno, stammered Mr. Jenkins. No more school, said Bruno, grinning a broad and asinine mouse grin. No more homework. I shall live in the kitchen cupboard and feast on raisins and honey. B -b 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 Bruno, stammered Mr. Jenkins again. How did this happen? The poor man had no wind left in his sails at all. Witches, my grandmother said. The witches did it. I, I can't have a mouse for a son, shrieked Mr. Jenkins. You've got one, my grandmother said. Be nice to him, Mr. Jenkins. Miss Jenkins will go crazy, yelled Mr. Jenkins. She, she can't stand the things. She'll just have to get used to him, my grandmother said. I hope you don't keep a cat in the house. Oh, we do, we do, Mr. cried Mr. Jenkins. Topsy is my wife's favorite creature. Then you'll just have to get rid of Topsy, my grandmother said. Your son is more important than your cat. He certainly is. He certainly is, Bruno shouted from inside the handbag. You tell Mum she's got to get rid of Topsy before I go home. By now, half the dining room was watching our little group. Knives and forks and spoons had been put down, and all over the place, heads were turning round to stare at Mr. Jenkins. As he stood there spluttering and shouting, they couldn't see either Bruno or me, and they were wondering what all the fuss was about. By the way, my grandmother said, would you like to know who did this to him? There was a mischievous little smile on her face, and I could see that she was about to get Mr. Jenkins into trouble. 
Who? he cried. Who did it? Well, that woman over there, my grandmother said. The small one in the black dress at the head of the long table. Well, she's our SPCC, cried Mr. Jenkins. She's the chairwoman. No, she's not, my grandmother said. She's the Grand High Witch of all the world. You mean she did it? The skinny little woman over there, shouted Mr. Jenkins, pointing at her with a long finger. By gad, I've... I'll have my lawyers on to her for this. I'll make her pay through the nose. I wouldn't do anything rash, my grandmother said to him. That woman has magic powers. She might decide to turn you into something even sillier than a mouse. A cockroach, perhaps? Turn me into a cockroach, shouted Mr. Jenkins, puffing out his chest. I'd like to see her try. He swung around and started marching across the dining room towards the Grand High Witch's table. My grandmother and I watched him. Bruno had jumped up onto our table and was also watching his father. Practically everyone in the dining room was watching Mr. Jenkins now. I stayed where I was, peeping out of my grandmother's handbag. I thought it might be wiser to stay put. Mr. Jenkins has seen the proof. His kid is a mouse. He believes it. Oh my goodness. And now he knows that that woman right over there, the RSPCC, is a Grand High Witch and she is responsible and he is going to go over and give her a piece of his mind. Grandmama says it's not a good idea. She'll probably turn you into a cockroach and get kind of like what's worse, a mouse or a cockroach? I guess in a lot of people's eyes a cockroach is a worse thing to be turned into. A lot of people are worried about those cockroaches. So, I'll tune in next time to find out what happens. What is he going to say to this Grand High Witch? What is she going to do to him? Is she going to sizzle him? I don't know. Find out next episode. Bye.